Hello, hello, and welcome to episode two of Fru of Playthroughs number one, The Lost Swords. I've loaded up the game here, and the first thing we're doing is heading back to where we encountered that group of thugs, if I can remember. Home City Jail. You want to train? No. To the north, you hear boisterous sounds of people partying. All right. A sign reads, The Rowdy Orc. We're not going to go there yet. Can I get back into that encounter, or is that gone now? I believe that's gone now. It's a random event. All right, let's go in the road here. Welcome. The party steps up to the bar. Welcome, folks. You look like you're new in town. Nearby, a fur trader is arguing with a man holding animal pelts. Badgers, the trader says, holding his nose. I don't need no stinking badgers. Has this trickster bothered you yet? Asks the bartender. Cyrus nods. Well, don't mind him, she says. He's harmless. Calls himself the Emperor. Do you believe that? Like I'm the Queen of Tassavalta. The unknown warrior is buried here in Colm City. After the last battle of the Dragon Wars, his body was found with those of a hundred of our enemies. He's the greatest hero in our history, but nobody knows who he was. Does drinking change anything? Like if I drink an ale, you have a drink. No. No. A sign read, room available by day or hour. Can you go upstairs? Yes. Oh, it smells like cologne and cheap perfume up here. Rooms are 50 platinum per night or 10 platinum per hour. What'll it be? Just browsing. Sorry, no loiter loitering. Now get out of here. Not sure why we would go to the Colm City Jail. Locked. Locked. Let's see what happens if we pick a lock. Pick. Oh, it worked. Absolutely nothing here. You have discovered a secret door to the north. We're in our serene hidden temple with white marble walls engraved with an occasional cross. To the north, a priest stands behind an altar, smiling peacefully. A priest says, Welcome to the white temple, friends. Please permit me to treat any injuries you may have, at no cost, of course. How may we aid you? Huh. Each character receives 285 XP. The party has found treasure. Take money. Okay, there's no money, but there's items. Well, look at that. Um, let's see. Let's have Cyrus take a potion of extra healing. Let's have Gingy take a potion of extra healing. Let's have Tessa take 
Potion of Extra Healing. Cleric Scroll 3 Spells. Stone of Good Luck. Hmm. The cleric would be... Cyrus. So, you can take that. And the Stone of Good Luck. Let's take it. There's still treasure left. You want to go back and claim it? Yes. What treasure? Do your clerics wish to train with us? What would happen if I said yes? Cyrus, train. Not enough experience, of course. Alright, well now we know... We have discovered a secret. to pick. Lock bash. Pick didn't work, so bash. Um, you've discovered a secret door to the north. A secret door. Pick. Discovered a secret door to the north. Bash. Discovered a secret door to the north. A secret door. Bash. Okay, it worked. Didn't it? Discovered a secret door to the north. Pick. Bash. Hmm. Absolutely nothing in that secret door. Nothing. Stairs going down. Sure. Does the party go down the stairs? Yes. I don't like the look of it. Keeper says, I'm the guy that lights the torches. I'm the guy that sweeps the fleas. While your guys are fighting orcs, I'm sitting safely with my keys. Duh, do you want one of my keys? Yes. He he, then tell me, what's a vampire's favorite fruit? Nectarine. Hey, that's pretty good. Here, take this key and don't bother me no more. He was through that door, so we got a key. I'm afraid. Does the party go up the stairs? I went the wrong way. Yeah! Okay, aim. Oh, we've got to turn the speed down to see what actually is going on. Tessa, attack. Nine hit points of damage. Griselda, ten darts. Aim. It's got 15 hit points. Target. 
two points of damage. Jinji misses. Spiders are guarding. This is okay. Cyrus, Morningstar. Oh no, don't attack ally. Oh, whoops. Two points of damage. Well, at least they're all in a row. They can't, the back ones can't do anything bad. Ooh, there's four of them. Amanda. We don't have any spells memorized. This is not going to be good. Carlo. Six points of damage. Nice. Griselda. Well, one at a time, boys. Tessa. This. One hit point of damage. Four dead. Nice. 21 hit points. Chinji. Seven points, nice. Okay, that's Falford. Oh, he just took seven points of damage. Oh, you don't have any range. Five points of damage. You've got three points. Use. Must be readied. Okay. Ready. Use. What a cool soundtrack. <laughs> All right. This is. Only five hit points. I'm afraid for her. This is... This is... Amanda. Misses. Try and spider misses. Uh, one point of damage. She's got one dart left. And missed. Missed. Cyrus got hit with five points. Um, it's ready the club. This is a bit beyond us. Honestly, we don't have any spells ready. Uh. Yeah. Alright, unfortunately, uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I had to go back and get the treasure from the white temple. And I think that was all of our progress that we've made.
there's going down. Okay, we don't want that. There was a place called Damnation Alley, though. I think it was right here. Damnation Alley. Discovered a secret door to the north. A secret door. With nothing here. Oh yeah, this is just these rooms. Nothing in them. Band of local riffraff attacks a party. Excellent. This is what we want. Alright, Griselda with 10 darts. Aim. Goon. Goon. Thug. 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 Let's take out the thugs first. Two points of damage by Falford. Gingy. This is Amanda. Oh, we still didn't. This is Wow, he got out of there quick. Damage goon goes down, okay. Four points of damage. One point of damage misses. Cyrus. Six points of damage. Goon missed. Six points of damage. Let's try to kill this goon. Dead goon. Uh. Missed. Missed. Hit point three. She took one point of damage. Missed. Five points uh. of damage. Dead goon. Missed. Behind him, this is Cyrus for one point of damage. Three points of damage. Missed. Dead. Boom. Uh. Six points of damage, nice. One point of damage. Two points of damage. Remind me to... Thug flees in panic. Jinji attacks from behind for six damage. Thug flees in panic. Uh, remind me to ready my spells. I've got a real camp. See, I can't see the rest of the battlefield. One dart. Just end your turn. The more thugs we can kill, the better for loot, so... Oh, he's fleeing in panic. Kill him with it. No. 
Oh, five damage. He had one point left. We could have got him. But our first successful uh <laughs> Got him. It's not worth it. Let them flee. Oh, you want to still throw your sling. Then you guys want to run away and still fight? Can't go there. Okay. Ah. And you have low hit points. Two points of damage. Three points of damage from behind. You guys are in trouble. I don't think you have point blank shot. Oh, maybe they do. <laughs> Still, they're not going to cause us much trouble now. I know I'm aiming into a melee group. Oh, still killed him. Five. Let's not take any chances. There we go. Success. Parties won. Each character receives 107 XT. XP. The party has found treasure. Money. 20 platinum. Excellent. Items. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Alright, so darts would be... Zelda. So let's take darts, 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 and Amanda. Let's take darts. And Jinji, no Cyrus. Take leather armor, leather armor, leather armor. Belt, belt, dagger, belt, dagger, belt, dagger, dagger. Overloaded. Okay. Cool.
be right back. All right. Let's head back to... Where was it now? Magic to go. Swords are us. Five platinum pieces. Now since I have the speed at low, it's going to take a while to get through this. Not the most efficient way to make platinum. I should have took the clubs too. Maybe worth five. Well, it was our first successful combat, though. I don't know what the Stone of Good Luck does. And what are these Cleric Three spells? ID. I'll identify a Cleric Scroll Three spells now. Let's look here. Stone of good luck. View. Value 5,000 plus one. Um, be right back. Okay, so there's nothing in the manual that describes an item's characteristics that I can find. Um, page 24 has a page of magical treasures. Okay, we have to memorize spells though. Okay, so I'm not sure what this means for the Stone of Good Luck. Item PTR 47, name num. It's a plus one Stone of Good Luck worth 5,000. It's an item type 10. I don't know what that means. And let's view the Cleric Scrolls 1260. It's not saying, it does not really say what they are. But let's, well, first of all, we want to save the game. Let it be. Can we in camp? Party makes camp. Okay. What does alt mean? Alternate speed. Four. Let's go with six. Alternate icon. Oh, okay. That's it. Fix. Okay, that just brought our HP back. Oh, we can save and load from camp, too. That's good to know. Magic. Um, display. Okay. Memorize. 
Cleric 3, first level. Rise of Cure Light Wounds. A Detect Magic. Unless Cyrus cannot memorize any spells first. Keep. Alright, great. You're a halfling fighter. You're a fighter slash magic user. You can use one spell. Wow. I think it's got to be Magic Missile. Keep. And then Amanda. Can memorize one spell. Also got to be Magic Missile. Scribe. Can Cyrus scribe? Has no copyable scrolls. Okay. Rest. Hours. Four hours, 45 minutes. Okay, I guess that's good. Your repose is suddenly interrupted. Cyrus has no spells memorized. Alright, so... We can't actually rest here. Because we're not supposed to rest here in town. We have to actually go Lord Angels, the courtyard of Quam City, the Avengers of the East. Okay, it's nighttime. Maybe we should spend an in Night of the Inn, suggests Cyrus. Trouble. That would be the Rowdy Orc. No, don't make camp. spend the night Cyrus has memorized bless Tess has memorized magic missile and has memorized magic missile Cyrus has memorized cure light wounds and detect magic. Great. So we rested. Let's save. Over A. We're not going to exit. We'll play. You are in your room for only a moment when you hear a knock at the door. On opening it, you see a large man wearing fighter's attire. He apologizes for disturbing you, then introduces himself as Ben of Perkinge, close associate of Prince Mark of Tazavalta. Ben explains that the prince has sent him to Colm in search of a particular item of great value, a magic sword with special healing powers. 
We heard that the White Temple priest here had a word about the location of Wound Healer. Wound Healer. But I arrived only to learn that they have recently been driven out by the Blue Temple slime. It is urgent that I find the sword as soon as possible. The prince's son, Master Adrian, lingers painfully in an illness, magically induced by Mark's arch enemy, Wood. Only the sword of mercy may defeat such an infliction. Ben pauses to survey the group. I had just arrived at the city's gate when the Emperor greeted me and advised that I come here and enlist your aid. Naturally, I paid him heed. Will the party seek out Will the party seek out the sword wound healer and take them take it to Mark of Tasavalta? Yes. Excellent, says Ben, though I cannot suggest where you might start your quest, except to find the White Temple priest formerly of this city. In the meantime I shall continue my own search for wound healer, Ben scribbles a note on some paper. When you get to Saryan, give this note of introduction to Prince Mark. Ben hands the note to Cyrus and bids farewell. Cyrus puts the note away for safekeeping. Arch for wound healer. Ben scribbles a note and oh, puts it for safekeeping. Okay. Okay, so let's just make sure that note is there. Okay, it's in, um, inventory. Yep, room key and Ben's note. Cool. So our spells are memorized. We're not a very magical party. Temple. Man of local riffraff attacks. Oh no! Four goons and three thugs. Composite short bow. Okay, I've got to get some space here. Damage in three and you die. Ten points for Jinji. Missed. Amanda. One hit point. Oh boy. <laughs> Run away. For Zelda. Ready them. Let's target these guys in the back. One point of damage. Four points of damage. I should have blessed this. There's another four points. Oh boy. Be right back. Alright, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, I spent an extra 50 to go heal again. Or to, um, I loaded my save, and then, uh, what happened? I had to go get Ben's note again. So, that kind of tripped me up. So I paid an extra 50 is what I'm trying to say. Priest says, okay... Ah, 
I have received reports that the good sword wound healer is being held by the drow, who know nothing of its powers. The drow are a species of dark elves who live in the doom woods, from which no human has ever returned. Please accept these items which may prove useful in your quest. I pray that you get the sword of mercy to our friend Prince Mark while there is still time. Do the clerics with the train with us? No. What items? That's our remaining platinum, I believe. Alright, so we're heading off to the Doom Woods. here save game a next time we'll leave the castle i guess and uh start making our way around the world and see what we come up with i guess we just head for a forested area uh much love peace joy and light to your life and uh catch you next time so long